Like, yeah, girl, yeah. I'm a mother. Uh-huh, I'm a mother of eight, yeah. And what? You might be mad, but God did. God did. God did. God did. appreciate you being here if you aren't new here thank you for returning y'all good morning y'all so this morning first of all i do want to apologize if you hear any cars in the background all of those good things because i'm in my restroom and yeah but i want to welcome you all now if you're new here i do vlogs i do hauls i do trials i do basically everything you know <laughs> like we lit we lit over here in real life but y'all, so this morning we're just going to be talking and I'm going to be doing this head um, because, yeah, and of course, I had to do another hairstyle with this hair. So, yeah, we're going to be talking. I had a question from someone um, I had posted up like, oh, I know it's been a month already and I only got like a couple of responses back. So, I was like, I'm just going to do one question per video. So, we're going to be doing these little segment videos. At a time, you know, I may just do this once in a blue moon or something like that. But yeah, <clears throat> so we're gonna start with um the question that was asked, which was, how do you do it with all your kids? <laughs> y'all, this question never um seems to surprise me because I do get that a lot. You know, I do get that a lot. Y'all, I ended up doing my hair in like this style. I seen the style on the internet and I told my daughter I was like listen we finna achieve this hairstyle <laughs> so yeah that's what we are doing this morning um I wanted to represent this wig again because y'all know it's still fall of course <laughs> my favorite time of the year um and I wanted to just do a different style instead of like a straight fall down um look I wanted to do something different y'all can see all of this open like for real so, we're going to get those, you know, laid down and stuff. But, yeah, I wanted to answer that question because a lot of people do ask me that. the same as that question, to be honest with y'all. Like, how do you do it with all your kids? How do you maintain? Like, how do you keep up? Like, girl, how? So, it's very, to me, it's just like you just pick up and you go. You know what I'm saying? Um, By disciplining my kids... I raise them to the best of my knowledge. I ask God for guidance. That's the number one thing in my life. I always ask God for guidance. Because we don't know what to do. We're not born knowing what to do. You know what I'm saying? We learn by actions and seeing other good people do good things and stuff like that. I definitely know what's right and what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? So um, when it comes to raising your child and disciplining them, and stuff like that. Um, did it for 24 years. My oldest is 24 years old, y'all. So, so yeah. Um, it's been trying times. But when you know for a fact you believe in God and how you believe in God. So, y'all, that's number one. God first. Um, I ask God for strength, understanding. Because, I don't know. <laughs> like, girl, being a young mom... I'm referring to back when I was younger. Being a young mom, it was, I wouldn't even say it was challenging. Um, only time it was, well, I would say it was challenging to an extent. I'll say it like that. 
because I've never been the type of person that goes to parties and clubs like that. Now, if it's a family gathering or a friends gathering, and or I'm going out with my girls and we just having fun, that's totally different. But me in the club vibes, I never got along with. Like I just, I don't know. I think because I'm not like a big crowd person. Being a mother staying at home didn't bother me. You know, it didn't bother me at all. Seriously, y'all. It didn't bother me. So, by not bothering me, it really didn't like, like, I didn't like anything look like to me because I was just so content at being home till it was like, girl, y'all going out? Okay, I'll see y'all when y'all get by. You know, I'll be right here. What you say? Y'all want some fried chicken? Oh, okay. Mmm, okay. And then put it in the oven so it can crisp up a little bit more. Gotcha. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have to go out. Like, going out to clubs and stuff like that? No. Nah. Nah, boo. That wasn't me. That never was me, actually. Um, I went out a couple of times with friends, and that's how I knew it definitely wasn't for me. Because I went out trying to go with her for her birthday and stuff. And, y'all, that did not work at all. Because I was already feeling awkward. And, let me see, maybe like a year after that, it was... It was like a shooting in that club, the same one. And then a couple of years after that, someone got killed in the club, okay? So, yeah. Listen, I, I love home. I love me. I love my kids. I love my family. So, I'm not going to be in the club, no. So, that's one thing with me, by being a young mother or a parent, you know. Um, being at home, staying at home was never a problem with me. That's why I can say it was never a problem because I was never a big type person that liked to go out to clubs or feeling like I'm missing out on the crowd because, you know, no, I'm not missing out on nothing. Um, but I do, um, like I did feel like I did miss out on my friends, you know what I'm saying? Like the true ones that was my classmates and stuff. Like I felt like I could have went to college around my young time, you know what I'm saying? Um, I felt like I could have done a lot of things. But when I look at things now for what it is, I feel like God, that was an assignment for me. You know what I'm saying? And it sounds weird, um, things like that. Or it may sound cliche. I don't know. But um, it's just, um, I just feel like that was my duty from God. You know, raise up these beautiful babies. And half of my kids are grown. Okay, so it's like, I really can pat myself on the back. I really can do this, okay? I really can do this. That's why I always tell people, I'm like, if you're a single parent, don't worry about what the next person got to say. Because guess what? When you got God on your side, everything going to be all right. It may seem crazy at first, but God got your back, okay? Just know that. God got your back. So... That's one of the things that really did help me cope and get through a lot of things is because I always remember to acknowledge God first. And it was like, once I acknowledge him, it's like God did the rest. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and that sounds crazy too because I know, like, how you paid your bill? How you did, you know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, when you give everything to God, God will place money in your hands. So, one day, when I say God places money in your hands, I mean, like, listen, I prayed to God one day. We had to move into a home, right? We had to move into a home, and I prayed, and I was like, Lord, I know I got to do some fixing up now because, yeah, this ain't what it is. I need to fix up. I need to do, you know what I'm saying, do to do. So it was like I was just feeling all types of ways and stuff. I was, okay, y'all, right now I'm finna lay my edges, I'm finna lay this down because, girl, what is this? Like, what are those? Um, so, what I did was, um, I saw how the situation was in that house, and I had to pray to God. I was like, God, please help me. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like, get up from my part of this because, no, 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 this, this, no. But you never know where God's trying to take you, you know what I'm saying? So, be content and humble in that position that you're in right now because, it may look like you're not going anywhere or things aren't going good for you. Stay humble. Stay put. God got a plan for you. And um, keep in prayer. You know what I'm saying? Keep praying, you know. 
So I remember that um, I prayed and I asked God to show me what can I do to, you know what I'm saying, raise my kids, make sure they good. Like, I don't like to depend on nobody. I like to make sure I get things done. Um, if I have to wait on you, then guess what? I That's me. That's the bad on me, okay? So it's like, I just go ahead and get things done. Um, I know I did not just put that in my hair, y'all. Y'all just let me put that in my hair. Y'all see that? But, um, I just remember, you know what I'm saying, like, just praying to God and, um, asking God and having him show me what is it that I can do, you know what I'm saying, to make money and to be able to take care of my kids. I'm going to tell y'all right now, plain as day, as it is day outside, this beautiful morning, God showed me do hair. And the, and the Spirit didn't speak to me then. Like, God didn't send the Spirit to speak to me right then. It resonated with me like a day later, maybe two days later. Um, because I prayed on it. And I left it there. I asked God and I left it. And do hair came up. Because I was like, what can I do to keep the people coming back? You know what I'm saying? Something that I know I'm good at. Things like that. Now, mind y'all, I'm talking about things I already know how to do, okay? I ain't talking about what I don't know how to do. Because doing hair for me was a no-no for me, okay? I didn't know what I was doing. Like, why are you even trying to help me get this position with this hair fine? Because that's not what we doing. So, long story short, I never asked, I never questioned God's plans. I just go with the flow. And I started questioning myself, like, are you sure you can do this? So, let me tell y'all, I started doing people hair, right? When I started doing people hair, I ended up... Um, some of the hairs, like, some of the braids were slipping out. They were sliding out, things like that, you know. Long story short, from that, I learned how to do hair. I was able to take care of my kids, okay? That's a whole nother story time. I'll get with y'all on that, okay? Um, but yeah, y'all, so I asked God. I just been asking God for a favor, you know what I'm saying? And when you have favor over your life, there's nothing in this world that you cannot do. Period. Okay? There's nothing in this world that you cannot do. So I always try to encourage mothers, single mothers, people that are trying to have kids. I always try to encourage them the best way that I can because everybody's situation is totally different. And I do get that. I do understand. So what I learned for myself as a young mother, I can, you know, relate that message to somebody else. Because somebody else may be going through the same thing that I was going through. You know, so... I never try to base my situation to someone else's situation because maybe yours is harder than mine. Maybe yours is more difficult. Like, anything in this world could have been, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to, like, make make it seem like, oh, it was so easy. No. There were days where I didn't get no sleep. There were days um, that I just couldn't have, like, a mommy date to myself because of the simple fact that... I know I got these kids to raise, you know what I'm saying? I got my babies to raise. I got to make sure they're good, they fed, they got clothes. Like, yeah, literally, for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, I disciplined them, and I, listen, y'all, when I tell y'all I hated disciplining my kids, I hated disciplining them, but I know that's something God had, you know, like, that was just, like, I needed to do that. Like, y'all can't go around here being, run around here like your head cut off like a chicken, Doing all these things because first of all, you're not gonna embarrass you're not gonna embarrass God because God created you to be on this earth. You know what I'm saying? So you're not gonna embarrass him for one. And for two, you're not gonna embarrass me. And for three, you're not gonna embarrass yourself because when you get older, that follows you. You know what I'm saying? So that's like what my mind frame and my mindset was at with my kids on how I was gonna raise them. Because first of all, why are you showing out in these people building in this school when you know that ain't how I raised you? You know what I'm saying? And you know better. But you know how kids are. They get to showing out in front of other kids. And it's like they think they grown. So, look. We're going to see who grown today. Okay? Let's just remember. But, y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all something. When I tell y'all God is good and God has always been good, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Because it's like, if y'all see how my kids are today, just by me disciplining them and being obedient to God's word and Listening to how God wanted to raise them up and discipline them. Listen, okay. Yeah. My kids, they they fell short because all kids do, of course. But the thing is, 
when you know how to get up and you know how to fall on your knees and repent and ask God for forgiveness, baby, what, let's say, my kids are young and they, they, they do this. You know what I'm saying? When they feel like they did something wrong, they fall on their knees and they repent and they ask God for forgiveness. They don't do it again. Bam, period. You know? Because you learn from your mistakes. So, right there, that's something I installed in my kids when they were younger. They got tired of me. Oh, my goodness. Mama wants us to do Bible studies in the room. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to always go to church. Church is right here in your heart. So, let's make church in this room. So, I had all my kids open up their little Bibles. They had little Bibles. They had the big Bible. My older kids that I'm talking about. And now my older kids does that with my younger kids. So it's like, you know, you plant a seed, it grows, and then it harvests to the next generation, you know. So I always did have my kids like that so they can um always know the word and always go back to the word because you're going to always need the word, period, okay? So I'm going to pin it up. Y'all see my little clip? I like this clip. This clip I got from, oh, God, did I get this from Walmart? Or, no, I think I got it from Marshall. I think that's where I got it from. But, um, y'all... The whole mother thing, this particular question, it kind of sums it up, the whole thing about being a mother, but there's other questions also, um, but this is mainly about how did I do it, like, how did you make it, <laughs> you know, because I know it's not, I mean, it's not easy, it's really, it's not easy at times, like, a lot of people will say, that's not easy, how you did it, oh my goodness, I'm going crazy with just one, why would you go crazy over your blessing? Like, I just don't get it. Weird. <laughs> like, for real, for real, real weird. Y'all, so we about to go ahead and beat this face. Um, Continue talking, and yeah. Um, so I have to... So I got to sharpen my thingamajig because my eyeliner, which I use for my lips, um, got to sharpen this because it's done. Like, y'all can see that? It's done, for real. It's done. So... I'm going to go ahead and beat my face, you know, real quick. It's nothing major or big that I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. But, um, I used to get that a lot, y'all. It's just, you know, make it do what it do. Give it to God. Be, be specific on the prayer that you're praying to God about. Don't just say, oh, God, I want this. And, yeah. Yeah, you, you just have to be specific. Because I prayed a lot of times. You know, and I wasn't specific with God. I just made a prayer, and God gave me what I asked for. But then when I got it, I was like, dang, not like this. Because I wasn't specific, you know. I wasn't specific. So I'm going to go in with my eye method and my stamper, you know. So I just, what I do is, because my eyebrows are already, like, laid down, y'all. I usually, like, get a little eyebrow brush and kind of, like, lay them down. But they're already straight, laid down. I'm going to go ahead and measure this out on my, well, I'm going to go ahead and line this out on my eyebrow. And come down a little bit down here because I love like a arch eyebrow. So I'm gonna go down and yeah, and then I'm gonna stamp. And I really don't want it that dark because this is you know this is a black thing of my jig and I don't want it that dark. So let's see how she came out. Bam. Okay, that's what I tell y'all. I love my little stamper, girl. You just stamp it back in it, and it gets a little black dust on it. And you go to the other eye. And, like, you see a difference? You finna see another difference, okay? So, I'll do the same exact thing that I did with my first eyebrow. And I'll line it up how I want it to be. Because even though your eyebrows are shaped a different way, you can line these up. They have different, like, I think they have, like, three or four different shapes of arch. Um, for your brows, so that's one thing you don't have to worry about. It's like wondering, you know, about your eyebrow. Now this one came down a little bit because once I fix it, it's gonna be good. So I just go back in. There we go. Okay, and it's close enough. And, um, and this for beginners too, y'all, like for real. If I, when I didn't know how to do my eyebrows, I would have then got that, but I, yeah. So I go in with my concealer and I'm going to conceal around my eyebrows just so they can pop out and get that look and stuff. So I'm going to be up close on this mirror, y'all. So give me a minute. I'm almost done, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> 
Hey, girl. Uh, listen, now I gotta just arch these out because they're looking a little crazy. Let me go get my mirror. Got my mirror, girl. Let me go ahead and, you know, kind of like blend it out, you know? So it don't be looking all harsh. But to you mothers that are doing your best and, you know, for the most part, you're doing it alone. I applaud you. I really do. I applaud you for real. Because I did it alone a lot of, so many years, y'all. Trust me. And I never wanted a pat on my back because I know that's my duty. You know what I'm saying? God bless me with those babies and I'm going to make sure they get taken care of. And they're going to eat before me, period. And any mental breakdowns that I may have had, you know, while, you know, with my kids, my kids never experienced that because I would go in a room, could have to like, get out my Bible and just cry. Some days I would cry, y'all. I would cry, y'all, and be like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? And then I have to remember, who's the creator? The almighty. That's how I'm going to make it. Boom. Okay? That's how I'm going to make it. Me and these babies, we're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? That was my mindset. That was my motto. And every time I would think about that, I went harder and harder. Anytime the enemy or the devil tried to attack, I went harder and harder. So it's like, anytime whatever was trying to go on that's affected me and my family's life, I'm going to go even harder on you. You know what I'm saying? So please, don't do it. Let me set this mirror up here, y'all, so I don't have to be holding it. Because I want to be like... Right here, instead of moving over, you know, back and forth and stuff. This one right here looks thicker than the other one. So, only thing I do, y'all, is put a little bit of concealer on here. Kind of like on my, the edge, the tip of it. Let me show y'all. Like a little bit on the tip. And kind of like blend it out. Just so it don't be so thick, you know. And then, I'll just go like this. You know. And it cleans it right on up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's kind of good enough. Because um, I don't really want to go too harsh with my eyebrows. For real. I don't. So, let me go ahead and get my foundation. This foundation I really like. It's L'Oreal Paris. True Match. I really like this. This is color. What color is this? Let me see. Cool. It's deep cool. Yeah, it's deep cool. And it's oil free all day wear. So that's why I really like it. Um, I do get like oily skin. Just trying to get enough out so I don't have to keep, you know, coming back to it. But um, I just get enough out so that I can blend, blend out my face and stuff. But <clears throat> never give up, y'all. Never give up. Keep going, keep pushing. I don't care how many kids you got, Chaplin. I don't care if you have all the kids when and when you have so many kids that they call you the woman in the what is it, the shoe? Something like that. I don't care if it's that. I don't care if you have that many kids, honey. As long as you doing it, you popping. Okay? If y'all not connected with me on Instagram, Miss underscore Galleon underscore eighty three, get connected with me. Because I have a video on there. It's a little mini clip, you know, a little real, little video thing where it's her. I can't help it if you pop it and they lacking, you know, you, you know, like I just can't. And you can't either. Because you popping. I'm telling you now. Stop doubting yourself. I hear you. Stop letting the enemy take control of you. I see you. I did that one time. I slipped up. And I was like, anyway, baby, please go find somebody else to play with because this is a grown woman right here, okay? So once I got that together, I nipped it in the bud and moved on, baby. Let me tell you something. Because people don't realize when they, and this go for mothers that aren't taking care of their kids or fathers that aren't taking care of their kids. You don't realize the blessing that your baby mama or your baby father has on their life when you decided that you was going to stop taking care of them kids. Because you met with her. Because it ain't no coming back to you. It's all fun and game. Until 
that karma kick your behind. Okay? It's all fun and game, baby. And boy, girl, I'm a living witness to sin. Hey, <laughs> what God can do, okay? Yeah, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Create something so beautiful and then play. Man, come on, okay. Yeah, so continue doing you, continue being great as a mother or a single father or a father. You know what I'm saying? You remarry, um, things like that. Single mother, you remarry, like myself, remarried and stuff. And it's like, you know, ain't no need to get upset because, you know, you decided on the road that you wanted these kids to take. You know, you decided to go out and lie instead of being truthful with people. And that's another thing, you know, you will have to pay for consequences when you lie on the person's name. You'll be able to look at me like, dang, what? I'm going to set up and lie. And look how good they're doing. Yeah. And I don't care who tell it. <laughs> hey, glory. Okay? So, that was another thing with me. Not caring, you know what I'm saying? I, I hear the bad name calling or I would hear certain things, you know what I'm saying, <sighs> from the other parent to, uh, to other people. And the other people come to find out, they'll see, that wasn't even true. And then they come to me, girl, you know, such such said this, and then, it, look, yeah, okay. I just get hushed my, because I tell them straight up, I be like, look, don't go by hearsay, go by what you see. You know what I'm saying? I never complained, I never did none of this, I never bashed them people out, I never did none of that. It was nothing but truth and facts, okay? So, continue being great. Because when you know the truth, the truth holds power. And see, that's what the enemy is afraid of. It know you're going to come with that truth. Okay? It already know. Like it already know. So... Don't, don't stress yourself out, honey. This right here is the 24-hour Mac Studio Fix. And this is another concealer that I use. I just use it around my eyes to brighten them, to pop them, to make them like, you know. I keep saying I'm not going to say a mirror, but it's like this one is more closer. And it's like, you know. Yeah. But, um. Now I'm going to go in with my sponge, which I need some more. I need to find some today. Yeah, I need to find some today because I am going to be vlogging and stuff today to add with my other day. <laughs> if they made any sense, okay? But, yeah, this video should be up today. Later on today, y'all. I just don't want it to be too much, y'all. I just don't want it to be too much. Because, no. So, I got my eyelashes. Boy, you scared me. <laughs> I ain't need to set up the last part. So, I'm going to go in with my Topaz Nudes. I got this from Family Dollar. Dollar Junior, one of them. And I like to go in with this color right here. That nutty color. Just because it's fall. And I usually do this anyways. I usually use this color. Um, if I'm not using pink. I like pink too. You know pink pop out the color. So I go like right here in. And then I go upward. All the way up. So in, up, in, up. And I'm looking in the mirror y'all. And I go as close as I can to my. Underneath my eye. But not, not like touching it. Because I don't want it to touch it. And y'all I need to do my roller. My um. My roller that I put in the freezer for my eye bags. Because y'all know when you don't get sleep at night. Girl. Okay. And I don't want that much. Because I don't want it to be like obvious. Like, oh my gosh, she got on that stuff. It don't matter to me. But y'all know. It's just me personally. I don't want that on. Next, I'm going to go in with my shimmer stuff. My um, bronzer, I'm going to use this brush right here. 
I have another brush, but I want to use this more fluffier one because it's more soft. This is the color, um, let me see. I don't know. It just said bronzer, ultra, ultra radiant bronzer. I don't know. So, just going a little bit. Tap it in, tap it in, girl. Tap it in, tap it in. Because this one right here is so, the pigments in it is like so vibrant. So, I'm like really like barely touching this. Because, no, I don't want to be like I'm shining or I'm oily, you know. Yeah, I got a little shine. I'm good. So, I want y'all just to know um, some of the basic stuff anyways that I've been doing to basically um, maintain this motherhood life and continue to do what I do. Oh, I'm, I'm about to put my hair down. I ain't even put my eyelashes on yet to maintain this motherhood life because, y'all, some days can get rocky. But I need you to just understand it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. There's nothing that God will put on you that you cannot handle. He will not put more on you than you can bear. Just believe that, okay? So just know, just ask God for guidance. Ask God for understanding because some of these stuff, you're just going to be sitting there like, you're going to be lost. You're really going to be lost. You're going to be trying to understand, okay, how to do this. Oh my goodness, I want to go here. I want to go there, you know. But when it comes to certain things, it's like, like with my situation, like I told y'all, I'm never, I never was like a clubber, a partier. Like I, I didn't just see myself having to go somewhere like a party or something. Like y'all see me, I enjoy the vibes with my kids or by myself. Um, I just enjoy me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. And it's like, you know, you can't enjoy yourself if you're like, how can I say? If you're so worried about tomorrow. You got too much life in you today to worry about tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to worry about tomorrow, make plans on a better future for you and your kids. Make plans. For better things and better ways for you to become how can you become a better mother if you feel like you haven't been the best mother you can be figure out what makes your kids happy and roll into that you know what i'm saying roll into that you know what i'm saying that's that's just me i, I always think okay what's the next thing besides materialistic things what can make my kids happy you know it's the time that you invest in your kids um my younger kids, because y'all know this C, the letter C word. I don't want to say the actual word, but the letter C has been rolling around and it's so not safe and, you know, all that sanitation, sanitization, whatever it's called, stuff. It's plans that I have for my kids, but my little ones, but I don't, I choose not to take them out as much as I do with my bigger kids, but they go places, trust me. Like, we're going somewhere soon and I'm not telling them. And it's like, a small place but it's where they've been wanting to go and i hear them you know what i'm saying so like my me and my kids we do picnics like we actually do picnics we y'all see my videos if y'all have y'all gotta go back and look at them you know we do things together so don't beat yourself up if you feel like you don't have enough money to do certain things with your kids it's not always about money yes money gonna get things done but listen it's the time and if you don't put that time in, before you know it, your kid is grown. Before you know it, your kids have kids of their own. You know what I'm saying? So, and most of the things like what I didn't experience as a child, I give to my kids. And that's a lot of love, girl. You know you was loved when you was a child and stuff like that. But it just like, some things are just more difficult to like understand because a lot of people always say well you was you was brought up in this world she raised you she fed you and, you know it, it's it's beyond that you know give me some cookies and give me an extra hug i'm good you know what i'm saying <laughs> hey that type of love i just found ways to be able to love my kids unconditionally and having god's help to help me do that it just it, it really 
it is is like top the cake for me. You know what I'm saying? It top the cake for me. So again, mothers and fathers that are single or you married, a new marriage, you know, and things like that. Um, just don't beat yourself up. Continue to do good and do great. You are gonna prosper. Whatever your wishes and your dreams and things like that that you wish on your life, you pray to God and you leave it there. You can't say you believe in God, but your your faith. Where's your faith? You say you got faith, but you still worried. Why you worried? What you worried about? God already told you He got it, so start worrying. It's crazy. You know that's why a lot of things get held up in our lives because we say we got faith and we say we believe. Oh, I ain't worrying about it, but you you are worrying about it. So now it's not moving as fast as you would like it to. So now what about it? You know a lot of people question that. You know, God said, I'm going to get it right then. You know? So, be the best mother you can be. Best father you can be. Well, somebody else talking about it ain't got nothing to do with you. And if you miss a slip up and you, you, you know what I'm saying, you say a couple of little words or whatever here and there, just know that the first and the last time, they just got out of your skin. And that's something they can't do. You can't let them do because they can't win. <laughs> you know? So, Yes. But yes, y'all, we are all great mothers and we are all great fathers. This video was pertaining to people, like a question that I had. One of the questions from um, a subscriber, they inboxed me on my Instagram. And I wanted more questions, you know, like this about parenting and stuff. But um, I only got a few of them and that was it, but it's all good. Because... It, it it only made me think outside of the box. Okay, I can do one question per video. You know what I'm saying? Make each video. Like, make one question a video. Whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, these things, what I was telling y'all about, um, I call them the little pen handles or whatever. Um, This right here. These gotta go. Look how cute I am, y'all, for real. Like, I'm always cute, beautiful. Like, I don't underestimate my looks or nothing like that. But, you know, when you doll up, it's just something different. Like, it hit different and stuff. <sighs> Let me get this from behind my ears. I'm trying to be sleek, y'all, and, and put these behind my ears. Knowing that, that's not even working. I may just have to leave it like this. Like, okay. We just gonna leave it like this. I won't go like this. Y'all, I don't know where that song was stuck in my head. It's been stuck in there for a minute. But, um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. My hand beside. So. So, I ain't gonna be doing all this. I'm just gonna. Whoop, I'm just gonna lay this down good. Oh, my God. So, yes, y'all. Be great. Continue to be great. And I know a lot of women... And then they beat themselves up because they feel like they, they weren't able to do as much as they like or they what the kids ask for. You know, I know. Because I've been there. I was like, oh my God, I feel like I could have done more. I feel like I could have did this. I feel like I could have did that. But when you start questioning your worth and you, what you're doing for your kids, then and now that's when you set yourself up for failure and depression. You know, because God always makes a way for another day. Remember that. Let that resonate in your spirit, girl. God always makes a way for another day. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna tired of this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna tired of that. Yes. So stop beating yourself up, sis. Oh my brother. My nieces and my nephews. Because guess what? God ain't put it on this earth or give it to you. For you to lose. Baby, you finna win. Do you understand me? You are about to win. And that's on period. So we ain't finna be sitting up here thinking no negativity. We finna do what it make it do. I need to wrap this around my hair because they trying to lay down, y'all. They trying to lay down. <clears throat> but I gotta do this first. Oh my God. How am I gonna do this? See, I told y'all. I be... Girl... I be in here trying to do the line fine. Okay. So I'm gonna just rub it down like this. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. 
There we go. And then when I wrap it on here, I can just pull it tight. You know what I'm saying? Like I can pull these sides down tighter and stuff. But they're going to be cute. I love this color, y'all. This color is so cute. I love this color. And I just, y'all know, I had to wrap it up for fall. Had to wrap fall up. Fall. You and I have was up. Okay? <laughs> but y'all. Y'all are gonna do it. Y'all gonna listen. Y'all already prospering. Y'all just don't even see. Y'all don't even know it because y'all too busy worrying. Stop worrying, sis, brother, niece, nephew. Stop worrying. Y'all already done made it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing and stuff. I can take this out. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing so y'all can see. And this just to hold my edges down. You know what I'm saying? I just put the little gel up there. It's just to hold it down and stuff. But my makeup is done. I need to finish out my eyebrows. Hold on, y'all. See, I got my my brushes and stuff right here, y'all. This little thing. I don't know where that cup my daughter got me for Christmas last year. I was putting my brushes in and stuff. I don't know where that's at. I don't know where that's at. See, I just want to blend it out. You see how cute that is? You can see a difference from this one and this one. Like this one look more softer, you know. So that's that's why I do this. So after you've done your eyebrows, if you didn't know, just go in with your little brush, you know. And that's it. And that's all. Yeah. They blended in good, y'all. So we're gonna go to check on what I'm gonna wear, okay? Come on. Okay, y'all. This is the fit for the day. That's the zebra shirt that I got from Shein. And then these are the pants that I've been looking for for the longest. I use these pants in my intro. So I'm wearing these today. I love the distress in them. And I love how they are, you know, spandex to the bottom. They are spandex to the hip also. But yeah, so I'm wearing that shirt. And I'm wearing these shoes right there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's not cheetah print. This is zebra. But I don't have any zebra print shoes. And I don't have any other shoes that will go with this. So, I just want to wear these because they are clear heels. And, yeah. I'm trying to think of the purse that I want to wear. With it. And this is red. Which I know this is not going to do. It's like, it's not too much what I'm trying to say. It's not giving too much. Because y'all know zebra and red look fire. Back in the days, that's what my house was. Zebra print and red. Yes, baby. But I got tired of looking at it. So, that's why I stopped without a zebra. But... I'm popping it out just a little bit, not too much. And yeah, so girl, we're gonna be doing all kind of coloration today. But this is the outfit. Like I said, it's not too much, not too big. It's just right. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to pop a color, that's all. And yeah, let me go ahead and finish. I got my jewelry. Um, let's see what perfume we're gonna wear today. I wanna see how my period up. Uh, hold on, y'all. Yeah, so my light. I got my light on in here, but it's not like bright enough. I'm trying to see. I really like that one. That what it's called. Tahari. Girl, that's done. It's done. It's like finito. Um, we got the guest, but I'm gonna do Jimmy Chu. What about you? And I think I'm gonna do illicit. Yeah, I'm gonna do illicit. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna do today, y'all. And these are my earrings that I'm gonna be wearing right here. You know, I'm thinking about wearing these right now. So Y'all had to adjust this earring because, uh, what? But anyways, I am ready, y'all. This is what the shirt looks like on me. It's real nice. I have a flap right here, so it flaps over. Real cute. You can see my tattoo real good. Like, I'm loving this. But anyways, y'all, I am done. I want to thank you all so much for just listening to me, taking the time out to listen to my, um, to at least one of my Q&A questions. Y'all, I'm switching in rings because the other ones are like too heavy and the little gummies that goes on the back, they weren't working. But um, I do want to uh, thank you guys again for just tuning into my video. Um, if you have any questions about motherhood, if you're deciding you want to become a mother, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer you any questions that you may have about motherhood. Um, 
And yeah, and remember, you got this girl, and don't let nobody tell you different. Because when it comes to people talking, 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 and saying this right here, were they there when you had to wake up late at night? Or early, very, very early mornings to feed your babies? Like, were they there? Like, I'm just trying to figure it out, you know? Oh, um, yeah. So, and that, that's just that or that, okay? But um, I am rooting for you. Um, don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like you're just in the depression. Like, if you feel like you're in a depression state and you feel like giving up, come back to the video, sis, okay? We're going to inspire each other to remember that you are worth it. You are beautiful. Um, yeah, because I remember those days. I used to think like that about myself, like... Girl, you got all these kids, and you ain't about to be worth nothing. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am. Because I'm well, I'm more than enough. I'm more than all of those things that you may say about me. I am more than enough, and that's period. Um, let's put some more of this perfume on because it caught me off guard when my earring fell out. And we, we uh, listen. We can't be having it. So I just wanna like touch up here. You know, touch up here, you know. Things like that. I really like the shirt, y'all. I love shirts like this anyways, by the way. I remember when I went to Atlanta back in 2018, 17, one of them. Uh, one of those years. And I wore this and it was just like it for me. I think I'm going to put some. I think I'm going to put some of this on my bangs, y'all. Because they didn't want to cooperate or whatever. So, let me put a little bit on that one and a little bit on this one. They didn't want to do right, so. It's all good. We just, I just want them to kind of like stay put. You know what I'm saying? So I just put a little bit on there. And that's even cute. I'm going to get that in my hand. Okay, y'all. Y'all going to listen. I'm going to catch y'all in my vlog, okay? But yeah, this was a get ready with me uh, Q&A question. And like I said, we're going to be doing these like one question per video. You know what I'm saying? Like We're going to be doing this. And y'all going to see the whole fit on me in my vlog. Stay tuned. Anywho, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Staying this long, and if you stayed this long, go ahead and make sure you thumbs it up. Go ahead and subscribe because you will love it over here. Like, yeah, girl, yeah. I'm a mother. Uh-huh, I'm a mother of eight, yeah. And what? I'm a great mother, a wonderful mother, a bump mother, okay? So let's take this off. This is even cute, but I ain't for the walking on people to play quite like that. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take this off. But yeah, like I said, thank y'all so much for like tuning in. I thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Y'all are the bomb.com. Don't let nobody else tell you different. And if somebody else telling you different when they were on your team once upon a time, and then all of a sudden they feel like they just feeling brave to, you know, say all these real things about you, baby, just let them know. God did. You might be mad, but God did. God did, God did, God did. Hey, okay, okay. Y'all know I'm silly. I'm, I'm silly with it, boo. And I love to have fun. I love to make you smile. Because if you had a bad day, come over here. Come on over here, sis. Mm-hmm. Come on over here, girl. Yes. So you see how them, them edges stay don't? Yeah, they look so much better. I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. Y'all know what I'm looking at, okay? But, anywho, I love y'all, and like I said, I'm going to catch y'all in the vlog. Again, thank y'all so much for just being with me while I get ready. And so, I'm trying to see how I should wear this. I don't know, but it's cute. It's so cute. I love this. How'd it do it? I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in my vlog.